All right, y'all, you already know what time it is. It's your boy, Moody Star, back again with another video. Of course, this video is not going to be too long. And if it is, I sincerely apologize. Um, I'm just coming back from school, and I feel so revitalized, bro. I feel <laughs> revitalized as hell, bro. This is the first time I've been this happy in so long. And mind you, I'm going through the eye of the storm right now. Like, I, everybody got their own struggles and, and, and whatever. I am, I'm in a situation right now where, like, earlier, bro, I was this close to, like, crashing out. Not really crashing out, but, like, <laughs> how should I put it? I had a little road, like, I almost had road rage. Almost. I had to stop myself instantly. I was like, see, that's Satan trying to make you crash out. I had to stop myself and say, hey, yo, Al, bro. You set yourself up to go to school. You're passing the classes. You was on the honor roll last last semester. You you found a side hustle to God is providing, bro. God, when I say God is providing, bro, God is providing. But see, the thing is, a lot of people be stopping their own blessings, bro. You stop your own blessings because. You're trying to fill a void. You're trying to numb the pain. So what you do by trying to numb the pain of going through life and going through, you know what I'm saying, the matrix and shit like that is by taking the make the own matrix's medicine and you thinking that is going to solve something. I'm telling you, it's only going to make it worse. I'm not, I'm not even lying to you, bro. It's only going to make it worse, bro. And the reason why I say it's only going to make it worse is because you know deep down in your soul, in your mind, that like, okay, whatever you're doing, it's to your according to your soul, it's not right. Sometimes people will do these things, bro. Do you know two facts? Of course, if you use marijuana or if you use alcohol or any type of like foreign substance, that is the thing that alters the mind. Think about that. It alters your mind. You know when you release your seed, when you have sex, or when you masturbate, and you, and you, and you release your energy? That alters your mind. It actually alters your mind. So you really think, whole time, you think, of like, man, this shit is regular, whatever, I'm going to do it. And then you do it, you feel like you're, you're, you're yourself, right? That's how you, that's how you feel. You, you can't even tell when your mind is altered because you're always altering your mind. The further, like you actually push yourself further and further away. And when I talk about sex, I, I'm, I'm talking about like recreational sex, not, not sex with your girlfriend, somebody that you've been building up energy and time with. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about. You know what the fuck. Like, why is he messing with this girl? Or why are you allowing these females to play you? Allow you to be tender? A lot of y'all be so tender for these females, bro. And you go get money and you do this and you do that. You rack up and you do whatever. And then, bro, when you have a lot of money, bro, that shit don't mean shit. It just makes you an easier target. If you're still... If you're still governed by your lower nature and your vices, you're an easy ass target. Not only low vibrational entities and, and, and energies you can't see with your eyes is gonna fuck with you, but a lot of these women who are spiritually in tuned and are evil in the same breath, they coming for you. And here you are, oh man, I'm. I had the female attraction, yeah, man, I got the glow. Nigga, I got holes on my dick, right? That's how you feel, right? Whole time, you an easy-ass target, bro. You a sucker. They about, to run, they about to run it up on your ass. They about to drain you for every dollar, cent, dime, nickel, $100 bill. So money can't save you, bro. Having a successful life in the matrix or having a great job or a, a, a diploma or whatever the fuck, that shit can't save you, bro. 
Trust me, I know. It can't say it. Like, I've had moments in time when I used to live in Miami, bro, and I thought I was doing something because I knew a couple niggas that, you know, knew how to finesse the system. So, of course, when you know how to finesse the system and you you basically getting free money, you know what I'm saying? Number one, you don't give a fuck about the money. You, fast money, you get money fast, you're going to spend that bitch fast. So, I thought I was doing the most. I thought I was, like, living it up, bro. Why do people think it's not important to feed your soul? Why do y'all be starving yourself? No, seriously, why do y'all be starving yourself? You're starving your inner self. You're talking about your soul. First of all, you don't even, a lot of people don't even know that they're starving because their mind is altered. They can't even see it. So if God gave you the ability to actually have the awareness, bro, and if you actually feel ashamed about what you've been doing, if you actually feel guilty about what you're doing or what you've been doing, that's, a fir that's, a, that's the first fucking step. Congratulations. You're on your way to the top now. You're about to raise your frequencies and vibrations. If you feel shameful, if you feel guilty about something you did in your past that you know, that you know it's not you and you are actually aware of it, guess what? I know for a fact your mind was altered. Your mind was altered. You not the same individual. So the whole time, we got to think about this shit. Who the fuck was walking around this whole time? Whenever you did whatever you did, bro, who was that person? Dog, you know, people can be body snatched for months at a time, a whole time. You can be living your life. Why do you think people be like, oh, man, I need to get back to myself. Man, I need to find myself. Or like, man, I ain't felt, felt myself in years. Who the fuck was walking around? Who was who was in the matrix? Who, bro? The fact that you clicked on this video, bro, and you want to change your life, or you probably you probably doing way better than me, bro. You just you just just tuning in for support. I appreciate that. But if you the type of person that you know you want to change your life, bro, and you're seeing this video for a reason, bro. You're seeing this for a reason, dog. I I, I, I kid you not. Don't lose yourself within the matrix, bro. A lot of people lose themselves within the matrix. A lot of people become these, a totally different identity, a totally different person because their mind is altered. Their, 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 their body itself is not balanced. We talk about the chakras. It's not balanced at all. It's imbalanced. You got some people, a lot of people in their lower nature. We talk about the map of the consciousness. If you missed that video, go ahead and check that out. The map of the consciousness. When you talk about like, the emotions. I actually might make a part two to that video and I actually might bring that shit back up for real because I I have a new perspective on this shit, bro. Like, I felt like I've gotten reborn in the past three days. I, sh I kid you not. And this is one of the, and these past few days have been one of the most challenging days that I had in a very long time. I'm talking about challenging, bro. I'm talking about God took me and said, you know what, bro? I'm, a, I'm a, you worried about a job and shit like that, bro? Like, that's, that's the least of your fucking worries, bro. God always going to provide, bro. God is literally always going to provide. But what are you going to do about you and yourself and your, and your inner self? How are you going to tap back into your original self? Every time when I when my frequency gets this high, because I ain't gonna lie, like I'm I'm usually I don't be telling people that like I'm at I'm on a high vibrational I'm I'm there. I'm there right now. Zen mode right now. Past two videos, fire. I mean my videos always hit different and stuff, but like, you know, whatever. I can tell my videos, the past few videos have been fired based on like the comments and stuff. Like I I I almost got scared because I seen so many positive comments. I'm like, nah, bro. But that's because I was actually speaking from my soul. I was telling the truth. I've always, I always have been telling the truth, but I'm going to keep it a bean. Times when I be going through it and I say, you know what, man, I'm going to smoke this or, you know what, man, okay, cool. Like I'm on retention. I've been on it for three, for three months, man. Fuck it. I got to clean the pipes, whatever. I'm going to release Every time when I do some shit like that, bro, number one, 
it alters the mind. But the thing about it, and this is a tricky thing about semen retention. The tricky thing about semen retention is that you can drink, you can smoke, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. I'm not telling you to do that, but I'm just saying, like, you can do all these things, and guess what? You can still, quote unquote, resurrect yourself. You can still bounce back. That's how powerful your life force energy is. Literally. But you just got to give yourself five to seven business days. Okay? Well, not necessarily business days, but you get what I'm saying. Five to seven business days of not doing anything. I'm telling you, you can, you can go, I'm telling you, bro, I'm, I'm telling you the right way how to crash out. Don't crash out. But if you're going to do something, bro, limit it to like a day or two. Fast for about five to seven days. That's the trick of being on semen retention. That's the trick. That's the greatest trick of all time. You can actively and continuously re rebirth yourself. But the thing about it, though, the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to reach a certain frequency and then drop back down. Reach a certain frequency and drop back down. And then reach a certain frequency and then drop back down. What are you, a fucking basketball? Come on, bro. What are we doing? What is this, the elevator? What are we doing? Why are we making this? Why are we? What, what, what is this, the electric slide? What are we doing? It's electric. Which, by the way, I heard that electric, the, the electric slide is actually about a fucking dildo, which is mind-blowing. It's crazy as fuck. Totally ruined my childhood. Y'all yeah, can look that, look that shit up. Motherfuckers, bro, they be dropping subliminals everywhere, bro. Okay? So with that being said, man... When are we going to say, you know what, I am tired of just being in this level and I actually want to level up? Bro. I've been talking to my mentor. And I actually been encouraging my mentor. I'm actually becoming an example for my mentor. And he even told me, he was like, yo, bro, Al, I ain't gonna lie, man. The energy, the energy that you are right now is different. I, nigga, that's encouraging me. And this is, I'm talking about somebody who's way more successful than me in the matrix that got the money, got the female attraction. You know what I'm saying? His vice or his only thing that's holding him back, and he's not afraid to admit it, is smoking weed. Now, for you, it might be alcohol. For somebody else, it might be porn. For somebody else, it might be stuck on your ex. For somebody else, it might be whatever the fuck. You feel me? It could be anything. But you got to be honest with yourself. Nigga, don't tell me shit, nigga. I don't, give, I don't care what your flaws are, bro. You can lie to me all day. You can lie to me in the comment sections. I don't care. You want to know why? Because at the end of the day, you got to go to sleep with that shit on your, conscious, on your consciousness, in your mind. And you will still be going through the same shit over and over and over again until you can't even raise your frequency no more. Now you done got, you done found a whole new low and your new high is the new low. It is, is the old low. Now you can't even go up to where you was because you're so scared to let go. You got to let that shit go, man. I don't care what it, if it's porn, if it's weed, whatever the fuck you know is holding you back. If it's conversations with your ex and you know that you know you and your ex was fucking toxic. Why y'all still having a conversation? Why y'all still going, going back and forth? Why are you still letting this female keep, uh, move you off center? Nigga, earlier today, bro, I was about to fucking crash. Like, like legitimately, because there's a situation that's going on that legitimately has absolutely nothing to do with me. But because I'm here, because I exist and I'm around the individuals and shit like that, bro, I'm dealing with other people's trauma, um, narcissistic behaviors. I'm, it's like I'm Malcolm in the Middle. Y'all remember that show? Malcolm in the Middle? Yeah, I'm him. I'm, I'm just stuck in the middle with so much things going on. And see, the thing about it, bro, this is why I, I understand my purpose, bro. I understand my purpose. That's why as bad as I be wanting to crash out and do shit is like, I have a responsibility, bro. And, and my main responsibility is to share to the world, 
you know, number one, you can get through anything. Number two, stop forgetting who you are. And number three, bro, you know, essentially me, I'm, I'm, I'm really just a messenger, bro. And I'm like the sacrificial lamb damn near. Okay. If I go through some fuck shit, that's because I know it's going to stop y'all from going through some fuck shit. So sometimes I'll be questioning. I'm like, yo, why the fuck did I, why do I have to go through this shit? Until after the fact. And I'll be like, oh shit. Okay. I see. All right, cool. I, I still got people who, uh, I still got people who, you know what I'm saying, tune into my channel. All right, I got something for y'all. This this SEMA retention journey, bro, this shit is ups and downs. I don't care how many days you go, bro. Shout out to a lot of these other YouTubers that's been doing it. Shout out to Nana the Soul and shout out to, you know, uh, a couple other people that like right now I can't even think think of think of the names right now. Shout out to TC Talks, everybody. You feel me? Anybody that's probably you know what I'm saying. Shout out to y'all. It don't matter how long y'all streaks is and stuff like that. I think you really learn your lesson from the times when shit gets difficult. When shit is going good, bro, you don't give a fuck. You think you think you think the Los Angeles Lakers when they won. Um, game one of the NBA Finals against the Miami Heat back in 2000, whatever, when, when the Heat and the, and the Lakers played. You think the Lakers really went back on, 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 on game tape to see, man, you know, we won this game. Let's see how we won this game. No, they probably did it just, just to go through the motions. But my nigga, they don't give a fuck about a win. Okay, they won the game. They're not going to look back at the game tape. Nigga, we did everything right. We won by 55 points. And I'm just making an example. But I guarantee you, let you lose by 55 points. You're going to be studying that film. Nigga, you went wrong here. You went wrong here. Nigga, you, you stopped playing defense here. You didn't do the switch here. Nigga, like when on offense, you forgot to cut here. You forgot to set the screen, the back screen. My nigga, what the fuck? Niggas go crazy when shit go crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas really going to be like, man, how the fuck did I fuck this shit up? It's like, wake, it's like you going to sleep and then you wake up and you in jail. Nigga, how the fuck did I get here? You start going back into your memory like, man, maybe if I would have went to this house, this shit wouldn't happen. If I went with this stupid ass nigga, this shit wouldn't happen. Fuck. Shit. Bitch. Sorry, I ain't mean to just curse like that. I'm, I'm speaking for somebody right now because I know somebody has went through this shit. That's the only way humans can learn. Through pain, through losses, through feeling like shit. But my nigga, bro, let's not wait for a disappointed a disappointment to happen. Let's not wait for your ex to use you, abuse you, and accuse you of being the person that put her in that situation. And now you over here looking crazy and she leave you for the next nigga. She leave you for me. I took your bitch. How do you feel about that? I'm just using me as an example. Trust me, I, I'm not talking to nobody right now. But the point of what I'm saying, the the point of what I like, the main point that I'm trying to get across to everybody that might be tuning in and watching who probably resonates with this energy, bro. Be proactive. Don't let, don't sweat the small shit. Stop altering your mind. That's the biggest thing. Stop altering your mind. I remember, I'm about to end the video, but I remember one time, dog, like this was years ago when I had first, like, uh, I had stopped smoking weed for like a couple months. My sober self would cuss me the fuck out. Al, I told you, stay here. Stay on this side because nigga, the other side, the other side that be, because what happens is, you know, I was afraid to admit like, okay, you know, marijuana has helped me so much in my life. You feel me? It, it's, it's brought me to, through times when I was depressed, when I was mad at work and I had to go home on my break to smoke, <sighs> altered my mind. I totally forgot what the fuck I was going through. <sighs> altered my mind. Relax my mind. Oh, a problem happened? Nah, I gotta smoke this shit off, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. <sighs> All to my mind. Totally forgot. But 
whenever I, I was sober for five months ago and shit like that, because I, and I can resonate with that energy because that's what I'm on right now. I would curse myself the fuck out. I'd be like, you motherfucker. If you allow me to be me, and this is the sober side talking, I'm like, yo, if you allow me to be me, bro, trust, trust me, bro. Put your faith in me. And this is me talking to myself. And when I and, and when 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 that version of me starts talking, guess what? That that's directly my higher self. That's usually that's at the at the you know um third eye. On the seat of this is the this is the seat of the soul. When you refrain from releasing your seed, stop drinking alcohol, stop smoking weed, you are actually allowing God's energy to come into this world. Your higher self is gonna get off the throne and get literally into your body. And just follow. Trust your intuition. Trust your instinct. Bro, I went to school today, bro. These niggas ain't never seen this person before. They ain't never seen that version of me before. They ain't never. I'm talking about like... What? But see, I've been... This person, this, this energy has been here this whole time. Legitimately, it's been here this whole time. It's just been on the seat. Of the throne. And it's just been chilling. And remember what I said earlier in the video. Where I was raised by frequency. And I'm like okay I'm cool. And I can. Mind you it's it still works. Because your body. I found a hack in my body. And I knew how to you know. I just knew how to still. Be pro. Still be proactive. And still like uh, again. Because when you fast. And you, you're, 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 you're. When you fast bro. Like you are. Unaliving your old self. And you're becoming renewed. But when you allow yourself to descend back into the matrix. And go through the same problems over again. What the fuck? That shit don't make no sense, bro. It don't. Stop making an excuse. Saying like, oh, we're just humans. I'm just going to have a human experience. How many times you going to do this shit and still, get di and still get disappointed? The very second you allow yourself to let go, bro. And just be... Give yourself time to go through because today it was very, it was very uh, challenging. And usually when shit gets challenging, you know what I do? I'm going to get, I'm going to take, I'm going to get some of that flower, my nigga. And I'm going to forget whatever the fuck I'm going through. So even though I'm going, still going through this shit, it was like, nigga, I don't even give a fuck. I don't even know what, why I was mad. But see, if you allow yourself to actually go through those emotions of feeling uncomfortable and shit and actually think without having an altered mind, do you know how much more power you will possess over all of these situations? Do you know how much more control you have over all these situations? Do you know that you can change a bad situation into a situation that's going to pay you forever? Good karma. Keep this in mind, bro. Stay righteous. You know, stay humble. Learn how to control that energy. Um, and you'll be fine, bro. You'll be fine. MGT, what it do? It's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways ass matrix. Now, first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every, every single day. Intro for the outro. Yo, if you made it to the end of the video, you already know what time it is, bro. You the GOAT. All right? Let your higher self into this realm of reality. Your higher self is always existing and your higher self is always there. But usually your higher self just relays the message, the message to your, 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 your physical self. And again, that's the, your physical self or your conscious self, I would say. That is like the mediator. This is what I'm saying. You can't like, this is how dynamic you about to be, bro. Your higher self is raw as fuck. You don't have to do nothing to change your higher self. 
It's the conscious self. It's the motherfucker that's in the middle. You, right now, that's breathing and thinking and, and digging in your ears and shit. You have the power. You have the ability to be in your higher self or to descend down into your lower nature. If you descend down into your lower nature without the right thinking, because again, there's certain ways you can actually utilize your lower nature in a healthy way. But if you descend down into your lower nature with an altered mindset, it's over with. Bake barbecue chicken, as Shaquille O'Neal would say. Niggas gonna start uh, folding faster than Usain Bolt. Niggas gonna start folding like a lawn chair or a pair of Levi's. Trust and believe, bro. Been there, done that, dog. Been there, done that. So at the end of the day, bro, like, stop playing with your energy. Stop playing with your energy. And I'm talking, it's, it may sound like I'm talking crazy to y'all, but nigga, this is, a, how do you think I talk to myself? How do you really think I talk to myself, bro? Okay? And I already said, be aware of what you're saying, but when your higher self is speaking, when, you know, because the higher self is like talking to God 24 seven, this is how you can get your downloads. This is how you can get so creative with so many things because your higher self is literally interceding for you. He, like your higher self is, you feel me? God is within all of us. This should get deep. It gets very meta, uh, metaphysical. But just remember, bro, you got the power at the end of the day. Allow yourself to be great, bro. Peace.